Assassin's Creed's new video game that's about feudal Japan is causing a lot of controversy in more than just one way. Yeah, a lot of people are not happy about it. Let's run some clips. So we got our first look at the new Assassin's Creed game, and I gotta say, man, I, I'm not impressed. I'm actually just really annoyed right now. We have two main protagonists, one female, one male, just like Odyssey. We're gonna be using Nao. I hope I said that right, a female Japanese character. And for the male character, they're gonna be using Yasuke. Now, I'm annoyed because they're using Yasuke, and I'm gonna tell you why. Yasuke is what they want to say is the first black Japanese samurai, when in all actuality, he was not even a samurai. He was a retainer, so he wasn't even a full-blown samurai. And for all of the characters they could have used for Japan, all these kind of different people they could have picked from, they picked Yasuke. Why do they pick Yasuke? Because he's black. So instead of using a Japanese man in a game based in Japan, like they did with the other Assassin's Creed games, but in this game, you want to demote a Japanese man and then use Yasuke. They did this for brownie points. I can't think of any other reason. This doesn't make any sense to me. It's stupid. I know exactly why you're doing it. I see straight through it. It's annoying. It's pandering. It doesn't do anything for me, but piss me off. Because of them always doubling down with us. They have to be a person of color and they have to be LGBTQ. All of a sudden, that's going to make us want to buy it. That's going to make us want to do it because we have to support every single thing, no matter what it is that a person that is the same color as us does. Okay. That's not true. Every other race on this planet has a way of handling people of their own color that do good things and do bad things. You can't support every single thing that a person your color does. But if you don't on social media, they make it look like you're some type of race trader when you're just telling the truth. I'm not buying the game. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I'm not buying the game. However, I do support all the other characters of color um, that they are putting in in the right place and they're not using to pander if a character is not being used to pander i support that i don't support pandering and checking boxes i do not at all boom you seen it right there andrew some very prominent black gamers even not happy about this interestingly enough uh let's just take a look at the headline controversy erupts over assassin's creed shadows protagonist mm. now um andrew this is just a developing story in a lot of ways there's comments from japan there's the pre-order numbers there's the historical accuracy so we're gonna get into it make sure you like subscribe turn on your notifications um check out smile at sauce at smile at sauce.com Here's what it just boils down to me, Andrew. This discussion has changed so much. There's new information coming out. I guess both the main characters are going to be part of the LGBTIQ plus community mm -hmm. as well. So basically, a lot of people are just like, wait, why couldn't you just make the game that's set in feudal Japan about a Japanese guy that existed in that period? Yeah, listen, Of I actually, I'm cool with Yasuke being depicted as a... Uh, protagonist in this whether or not he was historically a samurai which I th believe he was not ever a samurai but he can play even if he played a samurai I think it'd be okay but I think I you, love afro samurai yeah like that, that is dope that's fine it's fine with me and having a female protagonist it doesn't bother me either but why not have an Asian guy none of the Assassin Creed games have an Asian guy protagonist and this is the first game that takes place in East Asia and it could have been the Asian guy. And, and, and here's not. the thing. In the previous Assassin's Creed games, Andrew, when it was set in the Middle East, it was a Middle Eastern guy. When it was set in Italy, it was an Italian guy. In North America, they made them Native American indigenous. When it was set in Greece, it was somebody from Greece. When it was in England, Andrew, the guy was English. When they had it in Egypt, the guy was Egyptian. Right. And in Japan... There is no J Japanese guy. Yes. Now, there is a Japanese girl. I don't want to, like, take this away that there's no Japanese person. But I do think, like, the one game where you're like, you know what? You know, let's just replace the Asian guy. Right. This just feels like another, 
let's uh, we could do away with the Asian guy. The Asian guy's not going to sell. All right, let's do away with it. Anyways, guys, there's a whole bunch of different reactions from other gamers uh, that obviously know the game a lot deeper than even we do, so we're going to go through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, guys, the people who created the game in, at Ubisoft in France are white, but they did hire a half-Japanese professor that mm. is specializing in, I don't know, some... Th yeah. Anyway... But Ubisoft listen. is from France, and let's be honest, they are known for at least architecturally wise uh being very accurate in their video games like they scan old buildings so right. they can rebuild them in the game so they are supposed to be very accurate in their in their video games so let's just take a look this is one of the points from the gamer world imagine if they made an assassin's creed in africa but the main character is white some people were talking about cleopatra and a lot of people were talking about dei and things like that um these are mostly from like some white gamers, but including black gamers that didn't like the lack of accuracy. Yeah. Um, and yes, Yasuke was a person who existed, but he wasn't a samurai. And that's what his, is historically accurate. You right, know? right, right, right. Um, other people were saying, why not Hattori Hanzo? There were so many other people that you could uh, bring into it. But other people were saying, you know, uh, maybe a full Asian guy character seems boring to people. So why not use the one black samurai character even though whether or not it was historically accurate to sell the game of uh, and introduce people into more into japanese culture right what i'm assuming they thought was like okay if it's like feudal japan is it gonna be like shogun like just make it all in japanese where if you have a african protagonist um then you he kind of plays as african-american and maybe there's a lot of african-american gamers and it feels more american then you're making you're kind of finding a way to circumvent it from feeling too japanese -y. Right. And I was looking at comments on the Japanese internet. Obviously, some people translated them. There was a lot of mixed reactions. Some people thought that a black guy could help introduce people to the culture more. But I would say maybe 60% of them were like, hey, guys, we were always waiting to play as our crazy, dope historical figures, and you can't even let us have that. Yeah, I mean, it just seemed like the Asian guys were next in line. That's all I'm saying. Right, right, right. It's crazy, Andrew. It's almost like you're waiting in the line for a club. You're in the back of the line. Finally, it comes up to your turn, and then you can't get in the club. Right, but is it because they, they think that maybe they're trying to blend, like, the Black Panther, like, the Nigerian... Uh, Assassin Creed in with the Japanese one so they're like I don't know if we're gonna make a Nigerian game so like we should just we should just tie the black guys into yeah. this one well, you, actually know? Looked at, you know interestingly enough I looked into the history of the real Yasuke uh, and he's from uh, South Sudan right and he was brought it's messed up he was brought as a slave by the Portuguese and the Portuguese at that time were trying to take over Japan in a religious fashion right right so yeah I mean are you gonna do a I don't know I, I just you know, like, I'm not going to say that I'm ultra heated because I don't play this game. But I, do, don't even game, yeah. but I do know that video games are like any other piece of media and it's representation. Yeah, and, and gamers care. They might care more about the gamer space than the Hollywood space. Exactly. So I want to say, and especially this game is supposedly known to be super historically accurate. You know, try, trying to be at least as much as a video game. But, uh, we just do the uh, Japanese or the Chinese. It's too boring. It's not cool. You know, we feel like even though we are liberal, the Asian men are not cool. And and of all the Asians, David, they replaced the Japanese guy in Japan is like the best Asian country. Those are the coolest. Ja those are the coolest Asian guys with samurais, at least. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I mean, you you would think that Japanese stuff has been shown to sell from both a food level. And a cultural level. Like That's what I'm saying. Japan sells, so you could have used the Japanese guy. Um, somebody said, this, these are a different set of comments, Andrew, more from the Asian mail boards. People were saying, how come people, Ubisoft went on the defensive and is trying to say, well, we included an Asian female character. There's your Asian representation. Somebody said, everybody knows the vast majority of buyers of any race of video games are men. Don't the men deserve to have male representation? Versus a Ubisoft being like, yeah, no, we got the Asian female character in there. Take it. Yeah, I, I thought that was, that's a bad excuse. Um, somebody was saying, yes, it's because white people from, you know, basically in the Anglosphere or Western Europe, they do not think that Asian men can sell. And we're also viewed as not POC enough, whereas weirdly enough, Asian women count as POC where Asian men are not. Yeah, that's always weird to me, but that's another discussion, guys. I'll tell you why. I actually know the breakdown of why people 
do not consider Asian men POC. Why? Because when you look at top Fortune 100 country uh, companies, the only two CEOs that you see are white. Well, there's some Indians, but they have moved to like British or American countries. And then they're East Asian. Mm. Like I'm saying, if you look at Fortune 100 CEOs, global companies, right. there's a lot of East Asian CEOs and a lot of like Western nice CEOs. Mm-hmm. So that's why Asian guys don't get considered POC. Right. Because right, we have right. a lot of like billionaire CEOs. I don't know. I really think, but obviously, what does that mean for Asian America? We know we're POC. We, we're like raised that way. <laughs> what does that have to and do it, with well, samurais? Well, Come on. We all watch Shogun. Somebody said Asian men are marginalized and nobody cares. Literally, it is the one group that you can just, nobody understands their concerns and nobody cares about them at all. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I know that a lot of people think, oh, representation in a video game. Not that big of a deal, guys. Why are you guys tripping? Again, I'm not emotionally invested in this, but I'm going to say it like, it should have been an Asian guy. It doesn't make any sense. And it's not to say that there couldn't have been other people. I'm cool with black samurais, female uh, sh- uh, shinobo- shinobis. But it's like, dude, Well, you, you know what I noticed is that even some of the gamers that at first were like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, that's good. And then once they started saw, seeing that there was other more box checking, they were like, oh, I see what you guys are trying to do. Right, right, right. Somebody said, why do you guys care so much about American products or Western European products at all? Why don't you just watch Asian cinema or play Asian video games? Well, you know, when you consume Western products, you're consuming that perspective that they have about you. And that's why it's important, you know, and that's why you do need to kind of complain and fight a little bit. You're saying it's representative of, of their viewpoints. Yeah. So you're, by complaining now, you're trying to show them and you're kind of like casting a vote, even though the video game's made, it's like a, in retro, you're giving them feedback right now. Hey guys, by the way, didn't like what you did with Assassin's Creed. Right. Um, IGN said, yes, it wasn't historically accurate, but seeing a Japanese guy in a samurai role wouldn't do much for progressing the type of Asian males because it's very much stereotypical. No, 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 no. If he's a a cool samurai, dude. Yes, of course. Oh, another guy that's, dude, I would love for Asian guys to have the samurai stereotype. I would love it if people would be like, oh, damn, man, Asian dudes, they like samurais. I would take that stereotype above all the other ones we get. Ultimately, let me tell you this. I, I don't want to get into the nuances of what the gamers and the different sort of, uh, and I'm not saying it's an invalid discussion, but the hyper geeky, like hyper detailed people are going to argue about like swords and she's and not in she's or whatever like that. Or samurai would do this. It wouldn't do that. I'll tell you this in the Western European world, even in a liberal viewpoint, Asian men are sort of viewed Andrew with the privileged backlash that white men get. But Asian men have none of the actual IRL day-to-day dominance that white men have. Yeah. Like, we still, like I said, it goes back to the fact that there are Asian guy billionaires that are the heads of Fortune 100, Fortune 500 companies, and there's not a lot of, like, there's probably more Asian men than even white women that are the, you know, billionaire CEOs Mm -hmm. of Fortune 100 companies. That's why we're viewed as a privileged group. But on a day-to-day treatment level, for sure we're not. Yeah. So anyways, guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up there. You let us know what you guys think about all this. You know, this is another piece of failed Asian male representation. Failure on their part. Um, But yeah, I mean, let us know uh, how you feel about it. Maybe you'll still play the game. I'm sure the game's still going to be fun. Like, I'm not like, you know, uh, whatever. But I'm definitely not buying the game. So anyways, you guys let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.